Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to give you guys a quick look at the Wi-Fi capabilities of the Sony NEX6. So both the 5R and 6, the latest additions to the NEX lineup of mirrorless interchangeable lens cameras, both sport Wi-Fi capability, which allow you not only to download applications uh, from Sony's App Store, which will let you fundamentally change the way you can use both the 5R and 6, but of course, you can also just use that Wi-Fi capability to transfer images. So today I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. Basically, you need your device you're going to be transferring to. In this case, uh, for me, it is the Nexus 10. You can clearly use anything that's, I won't say anything, I'll get to that in a moment, that's iOS or Android based. Uh, also, uh, PC, of course, you will need to download Sony's uh, Play Memory software uh, and uh, have that set up. So let me go ahead and open that up here on the tablet. And then on the camera end of things, I'll power up and go ahead and hit this button right here, which corresponds with the Wi-Fi transfer functionality. And this is straight from powering up. It'll then prompt you and ask you whether or not you want to just transfer a single image or uh, group the images by date or all of the images on the actual device. So let's go with all of them. It then will trigger the Wi-Fi connection to occur. Now, if you haven't previously paired this with uh, any particular device, this is what you're going to see either way. Uh, the key difference will be that if you have already gone through this, you won't have to re-enter uh, that code. And that's why, as you can see, it says connecting and sharing. And it's already connected, as you can see right there on the tablet, and the sharing is happening right now. So all of those photos are going to immediately be transferred right here, and you can see they're dated. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how this works. You can see it was fairly quick to the tablet, uh, but this is just the preview mode. I haven't actually copied any of these photos. And as you can see in the software, it's not extraordinarily robust, but it certainly works. So we've got it grouped by date. So let's say I want to just look at this particular image. Actually, let's go with something a little more uh, colorful. Let's go with this image. And if you jump up to the settings tab, you can see Sony actually does give you the option to select the image quality. So you can go with two megapixel, obviously more ideal for sharing. VGA, the best for sharing because smallest uh, size, obviously, and quality. Or you can go complete original. So in this case, let's go with the original because I do want to give you guys a real performance test here because two megapixels, uh, well, that should transfer really quickly. Uh, but uh, for the actual full 16.1, or in this case, I believe this was shot with the NEX7, so that's a 24 megapixel JPEG. Uh, these are not raw images, obviously. I didn't uh, post or do anything in post or convert anything. These are just JPEGs out of camera. Let's see how long it takes to copy to device. So now that we've completed the wireless transfer of the image to the Nexus 10, let's go ahead and look at what that image actually looks like on the screen. After all, we've got a really high res screen here, 1600p, highest resolution on the planet. So right there's the photo that I just transferred. By the way, this is the Play Memories Mobile Gallery within my gallery uh, on the Nexus 10 and that's what Play Memory software will do. They'll create a gallery for all of your mobile uploads from your uh, Wi-Fi enabled NEX camera and there you have the image and whether or not it comes across how well or how great this really looks uh, on the Nexus 10 I don't know guys, I won't see until I actually upload this, but I can tell you right now, this is a marriage made in heaven. Uh, wireless transfer of images uh, from a camera like the 5R or the 6 or eventually the replacement for the NEX7 really do quite nicely with this. Yes, I would like to have SD card slot uh, capability on a tablet like the Nexus 10 and many Android tablets that I've reviewed uh, do have it but even in those cases where they have it it's really nice to have the convenience of not having to actually insert the card granted it's not a big deal but as you guys can see the screen resolution uh, even though this is a dark image really does get leveraged quite nicely here uh, something you wouldn't be able to do on a tablet with lower resolution than this at least not in this sort of quality uh, and just to show you guys again the actual quality of the image, if I go to details right here, you will see everything you need to know uh, right there. So it was shot with uh, actually the NEX6, so I stand corrected, uh, so not a 24 megapixel uh, image, but still, nonetheless, this is the actual image 
uh, raw in the sense that absolutely no uh, degrading of the quality, no compression, at least by play memories in order to get it on here in the wireless transfer. So not a really big file, only three and a half megs, but in the instances where I've gone through transferring literally 100 plus photos, it has gone really well. So, so far, what is really at the very base a gimmick, I can tell you guys, will only get better with time. And even though you do have to go through this pairing process that I showed you guys, uh, once you've done it the first time, as you guys saw, since I had already done it with my Nexus 10, it will automatically, as soon as you select at least what you want to share, as I showed you guys when it prompted me for a single image, uh, date by date, or the everything on the actual card itself, once you select that, it's just going to go to town and drop every single image that you have on that SD card uh, or that you've directed it to in the desired quality that you've selected uh, from the options that I showed you guys. So I do like this feature. It is practical. I think for a lot of professional photographers, it's a great uh, form of instant review, much like iFi offers in a sense, although iFi is literally instant. This is not. It's still very quick, uh, in many ways quicker than you know pulling the card out of the camera. But this is really more about convenience uh, to the mass market. And that's another one of the cues where I feel the 6 does pick up the pieces from the 5R and giving you those extra manual features, but still retains the fun and uh, novelty of giving you something that's going to play nicely with most of your Wi-Fi enabled devices. Now this is uh, running over its own network. It does not require uh, a home network or anything like that. So you can do this transfer as I just did anywhere as long as you have, you know, devices that have Wi-Fi uh, chipsets on board. Last thing I want to point out is that I'd love to tell you that the compatibility has been great, but it hasn't been. Uh, in fact, the Nexus 10 is the only device where I've seen pretty much flawless uh, compatibility, which is a good thing considering, as I mentioned, the really high resolution PLS display that the Nexus 10 has is just a perfect match for the NEX 6. However, uh, my Galaxy Note 2 does not work, so, uh, and I've seen a lot of inc incompatibility as I've gone through uh, feedback for this application in the Play Store. So right now, Sony does have some work to do. They did just update the app recently, but still a lot of bugs to iron out. Uh, again, we have to remember this is in its infancy, and by this I mean not only the Wi-Fi sharing that Sony's doing here, even though the concept's been around for a while with companies like iFi, uh, but also the application store itself, obviously also in its infancy. So I think if you're willing to grow with the system, this is certainly a nice added feature, but it should not be uh, the principle for purchasing this camera uh, by any means. But I do really like it and uh, it is very practical and really simple. It's great to be able to come home after a day out with the camera and just hit a button and then be able to see everything on my tablet. Granted, you could still just pull out the SD card, pop it into a laptop. I can't discount that in any way. That will always be a great option, but for those of us who rely more and more on Wi-Fi enabled mobile computing devices like tablets and smartphones, that's where an application like this would really shine, especially as they get uh, a more broad uh, level of compatibility. Because right now, for this not to work with the Galaxy Note 2 is really disappointing since that is, uh, you know, a, one of the largest, it is the largest uh, screen you'll find right now on any handset. Anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.